All right, welcome and welcome back everyone. Got a new project day today. The Rocker Medieval Wheeled Cannon. Get a little preview last night. Uh, only 158 pieces and three out of five difficulty, so shouldn't be much trouble here. So I'm hoping we have a nice, another nice relaxing build. Although I do see a lot of, I'm a, that may not be accordions there though. Looking at that, that may actually be slats. Won't know until we get in there, but I'd be happy if it wasn't accordions. <laughs> Let's uh, pass this open and see if we can't see what we can see. And I'm not sure about that sentence structure there. But anybody who's new here as I'm opening this up, this is what I do. I buy the kits like this, sometimes a little more complicated, sometimes a little less complicated. But st still with this thing, film it real time, show you step by step how I build it and let you see all my successes and failures and how I hopefully fix my failures. So if you think that's your, your deal, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you on board. Okay, we've got our ping pongs. I don't know if those are regulation or not. They don't feel very bouncy. They feel a little squeaky. But <laughs> okay, I do see some of the rocker two-sided tape there. That's always a little fiddly to work with. I just pull the tray out and leave the box empty. <laughs> Well, it's going to end up anyway. <laughs> and let's see what I've got in the way of... Cats over here just having a, a cow or something. Alright, got an extra teeny tiny screwdriver. A few springs, some collars, O-rings, which I'm sure will be rubber bands. Screws. And a couple of the shafts, the axles, I'm sure, for our wheels. Uh, a few more rubber bands wax and sanding pad and of course the okay she's found something that needs to die i think it's a rubber band <laughs> okay uh yeah ping pong balls and an actual an actual instruction book not a poster that's something anybody that watches me know that's something i like about something else i love about rocker on the actual rocker sets, they give you an inventory of the pieces you have to pull for each part, each page. I say so. All those for that one, and it's even though step one isn't over with yet, you get a new, new list of parts for this page, and it appears that they are slats going around for the camp for the barrel. Okay, but now let's take a look at our pieces and see and what those are all about. So there's our, that's hard to tell from there, but that is two-sided tape. It's, it's, it takes some practice using that stuff, but it, it is pretty good stuff. A little sanding pad. And then we got sheet B. And then we go to A. I'll forgive them since sheet B was a small piece. <laughs> Let's see. for only 158 a lot of sheets like well I guess they all a lot of them are big pieces too so that probably hinders the ability to make them compact all right that's uh, all of those so yeah, let's see <coughs> how many steps pretty thin book looks like seven actual steps over nine pages so I may just go actually by step rather than page because I can't have had too much. So there's one, two, three. Yeah, it looks like they've actually got them spread out. Well, no, okay, yeah. Fairly reasonably today. There's four, five. Yeah, I be, think I am going to be able to do this one by steps. Lately, I've been having to do the rocker ones by page because their steps are sort of seem to be a little out of whack but 
Well, like I said, I'll, I'll split this up by step, so I'll be right back with the first step, and we'll get rolling on this thing. Okay, here we go. Step one. Pretty straightforward. This doodad. This doodad goes on top of it there. And these doodads go on top of that doodad. All the doodads everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm making little pieces. I need to zoom in. <laughs> Get to do it again, so. And doing it with the details facing up in this. <laughs> All right, a couple of those. Then, like the six, and start off with these three. Do an A one. I think. Yeah, it's all the same. So you just got to pick your starting point. And it does do it with the and the B2s go on either side. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we do <coughs> three more. guys in. There you go here. And same thing on this side. Three more. And this one. And there's according to the instruction there should be nine left. Three, four, five, six. Yep, nine left. All right, so then just working way around. Uh, looks like it's the cannon. Uh, these things have tricked me before, but I can't. I don't think there's anything else this shape <laughs> on this build. This is the part that I think is going to be the, the most fun of all. Getting all those little pegs into all these little holes. <laughs> I did do those all facing out right before I put them away. Make sure all the decorations are showing. <laughs> yep. Okay, so I guess just. Okay, well, I think there's some. Slightly different holes. I don't see a warning on it, but the. Let's say we got circles and squares, so I'm assuming the circles are going to be where we had the different pieces. They might be a little different. I'm a, that's, that's the assumption I'm going to go under. I am going to turn that. It's yeah, maybe slightly smaller on the. Let's put the gravity help. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Mm. A little pressure and maybe ease my way around. Oop, that didn't. That wasn't easy. <laughs> Mm 
Yeah, this has got a good chance of being most of the video tonight, I think. <laughs> Let's see. Got some pretty... Okay, I don't think the circle and square thing matters. Just looking, it doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to. Okay, let's get that. Work. Here we go. Alright. And we got a... I'm, like I said, I'm assuming it's the barrel. I, I could look at the picture. <laughs> got it covered up with stuff though. Alright, so that's in place. Now we take our handles. <laughs> behind it there to make sure I don't break it after all that effort. Right. Got handles for our cannon barrel. Yep. Okay, this was it's part of the cannon. There, there's more of it goes on later. But all right. That was step one. Not, like I say, I, I pretty much knew I was going to be an issue getting those in there when I saw the instructions, but not overall not too bad. Just a little patience and a little wiggling and a jiggling, and they did pop in. <laughs> All right, be right back with step two. Okay, I'm a little confused by this one, but... I'm gonna see how I'm sure it'll work itself out as we go along. <laughs> Start off with these guys and these teeny tiny pegs for them. <laughs> and let's see here, grab got my tool. See which one. Okay, so it goes. Goes in here. I think. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to need my acrylic out here because I need something a little bit more solid to press against down there. So, a couple of these guys up. Hopefully, I'm sort of... Actually, they're <laughs> cooperating rather nicely so far. 
There we go. Everybody. All right. Now. We take our from before. I think this might be. I'm trying to remember what they called it on MythBusters. I think they called it the breach. Okay, so we got our handles that way. Got these guys going vertically. So I think. Oh, that's. It's got the arrow there to tell us where to put it, I think. Okay, those aren't spacing out the same. <laughs> v oh. Yeah, these pictures are not doing justice. Okay, so I'm going from... <laughs> okay, so this is back here. Okay, this is on the very back. Okay, so this is good. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's what got me confused because they, they spun it around and didn't... There's no... Okay, there is a circle. There is one of those arrows in the picture. Okay, so this guy goes in here. And we start on that one. Arrow, oops. With the arrow on it. And then what are we doing? <laughs> this is okay, it's got a hole in there. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to figure this out. Okay. Okay, and that does line up in there. I'll take a teeny tiny screw. Line it up. And I've got the screwdrivers from a different set, but I like the this one better. <laughs> Alright, and that's now. Don't want to go too tight on it, because I want to make sure it can I don't break it. Okay. Here. Okay, so you're lined up right down the middle with the arrow through the handles. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay. Then we'll take our piece that we just made. And okay, that will line up with these things to hide the screws when it's all said and done. Cool. Okay. Then G5, the one with the stripes, goes on next. Then H5, on top of that. And these these two are going to go in the respective. Okay. Okay. I'm starting to figure this out now. Okay. And now, it appears we're just going to do that 17 more times. <laughs> and one extra pig. Okay, so, got our decorative thing all the way through back to here. I think I'll do all the screws at once. Maybe few them in there to stabilize it and then go from there. Okay, starting to get the hang of this now. Okay, 
been probably a little too close for this much work. <laughs> few more of the screws <laughs> stabilize this maybe not all of them but just sort of get them going That's the, that's the problem I have with magnetic screwdrivers. They're either too magnetic or not magnetic enough. can never find that sweet spot. Okay. lost some adjustability so I'm going to actually loosen these few turns and get back to putting the slats in. Okay, yeah, I don't think I will put all the slats in before I do any further <laughs> screws. I think I was getting a little too much structure in it. <laughs> Loosen this one too while I'm at it. Okay. Oops. I thought it was. Make sure I don't grab. There's two of them that are different. I'm going to make sure I'm not grabbing those. <laughs> I do want to also want to make sure I'm leaving this one. Okay, so one more on this side and then go the other side because. So we got different different slat for the very bottom piece. Those are the ones I want for these guys. Oh, there's another whole extra hole. No. Actually, I don't know. Maybe they just ran out of space on A and it's, <laughs> they were the same. <laughs> there's not, does not appear to be any. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, they just must have ran out of space on sheet A, and then went to B. Okay. Um, get these all in. Just get them started. Not gonna snug them down yet. I think I'm gonna snug that one by accident. <laughs> a lot of screws. <laughs> Seems like I'd already done more than this. <laughs> I still gotta go back around and tighten it up too. <laughs> I think this is going to be the most tedious part of this build. Famous last words. <laughs> and judging by the, the views I got on the uh, camper van, that was a popular one. Everybody seemed to, seemed to get a lot of views real quick and they, people stuck around for a while on it, so that was good. Uh, and I finally did think to look it up, and it, it was it was about fifteen dollars for that thing through Timu. So that's for that. You know, I, I was not expecting a build of any real quality when I, you know, for, not for only paying that much, but like I said, I was very pleased with how that one turned out. It was you could tell it wasn't super high quality, but it was solid enough, and like I say, I had enough of the features, and it, everything looked good, and wasn't you know, I, I got no complaints about it for sure. Okay, finally got them done. Put these back where I can find them after a while if I need them for something else. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to start on this one. <laughs> so snugging them in. I'm not going to go crazy tight on them, obviously, because I just break something, but make sure everybody stays in place. Just a little, a little more convincing. <laughs> oh, some peeking out. That's, uh, I think that's all right. Yeah, see, it's a little glint, just the right angle. But there's that much of the barrel, and we got our two-sided tape I was talking about. Supposed to stick it on 
end of the barrel and that's what's going to hold this on supposedly but you know what with my fine collection of glues and adhesives sitting right here next to me <laughs> I'm just going to create some of the old B7000 <laughs> and just dot right there that right there four little dots around it and pop it on with that if something happens where I need to take it apart I'd still be able to with that so just enough on there to you know, like I say make sure it doesn't come off and then got these I think this is our okay so we got the handles going up and this guy goes in on the middle this time. <laughs> Ooh, she's loose. Oh, this is going to be what holds it in. <laughs> That's going to work on this set. All right. And that concludes step two. Took a bit longer than I thought it was, it was going to. Take a peek at step three here. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do step three. That's just part of the, the wagon. Is that what holds cannons? I'm not even sure. That shouldn't be too traumatic. So I'll be right back with step three. Okay, upon reflection, I believe cannons use trailers, not wagons. <laughs> I don't think it really matters that much, but it just occurred to me. <laughs> All right, so, but building the bones of the trailer now. These guys. In there, sort of gotta hook them on and swing them around. Then bring this guy in. Actually, I think that. Hmm. Odd. The blank side is out. I would have thought it'd been, but I guess not. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, you go. The bottom one here. This guy with these little spikes up goes here. Oops, got that backwards. Yeah, like that. Hmm. <laughs> I'm looking at the right spot. Okay, so. Okay, that with the details up and that. You in the bottom one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it goes behind those. Okay, that's why it wouldn't work. <laughs> cool. Okay. Then this guy. Oh, this looks like that's where our cannon's going to rest. It's got that little concavity there. Goes in here. Mm -hmm. guys in and each 
we all goes. You go here. And next page. Alright, looks like we're building the structure of our axle here. So it is doing you. on that whatever that's representing <laughs> this goes in with our notch down way all the way into there that's gonna be our main axle I think bring this guy in here these two on them so they're gonna go yeah so we're like 45s there now this the only thing to do is add the other side uh -oh. I'll start back here with the little bitty ones I have the axle the furthest one out so let's go in on that down here I think mm -hmm. and then gradually work all our little pieces in trailer in place. Uh, hmm. How far back is going to go? <laughs> okay, there's probably going to be some structure here that the, these things rest on, I'm assuming. Where to put it? <laughs> oh, not like I don't have a book sitting right in front of me with a picture of it on the front. Okay, so we're not done we got more to put back here, too. Okay. Looks like this is going to go... Yeah, it is going to go about like that. Oh, okay. But... I think with that middle section taking so long... I will stop here. So, yeah. I think I'm going to... Let me go Let me go throw this on the computer and see how long it's gone, and then I'll decide. Okay, 
I've convinced myself to do one more step. That's, I mean, it's just one more step. Can't be that much longer. Okay, but start off facing that way. We E7, go down to our little uh, structure here, allegedly. Yeah, all the way down. Oop. Start from the inside. Make sure we don't crush anything. Yeah. Okay. E13. There's no stoppers there, though. <laughs> maybe. The, okay, that's. Uh, maybe those tabs will be stoppers. Let's see how. Yeah, it's to maintain shape there. Okay, yeah, it, it does. They do stop it, so that's keeping all our, our barrel out. Or I guess that's the breech, isn't it? <laughs> and just out of curiosity, how close is that? It's a pretty snug fit for our cannonball. <laughs> okay. Now, got our O ring, E8, and E11, which was the bigger one. I think it's the bigger one. Let me double check. E11, yet yeah, the bigger one. <laughs> There's two pieces that are fairly close. You know, so, <laughs> here on this guy, the 11 goes on first. So then you go all the way down. Yep, yep. And, okay, so let's go around the O ring, go around the 11. That's what we're doing here. <laughs> Doesn't seem to want to, <laughs> but that is what it says to do. Okay. I don't think I've ever actually used an O-ring as an O-ring on one of these builds. <laughs> and this guy. Yeah. E9. Okay, to hold the O-ring in place. Again, <laughs> okay. I just want to do it without taking it. Okay, it's not going to work. <laughs> Problem is when I let go of it, it pops off. Again, <laughs> you know, I've got the pressure. Okay, I'm this shouldn't be this difficult. <laughs> Give it a little 
Hopefully I've got enough of a little ridge there for it to fall down into. No, I do not. Not on that side. This face in the right way, you got the yeah, here. On. All right, I believe it actually stayed in place there now. Like I said, it's the first time we've actually used an o ring as an o ring on one of these things. <laughs> okay, now. A6, that was the teeny tiny one, one, yeah. Goes in here to lock everything in place so that never comes out again. <laughs> now we take two of the C11s. Slots allegedly. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Now and repeat. <laughs> Which I can't and I forgot. It'll be the one that <laughs> Oh did I? Oh man. <laughs> I forgot one. Okay. So then that little piece when the little one goes on top of all of that. And then our peg goes in. Okay. Didn't lose anything. Okay. <laughs> now, over here, bigger one goes in. And does that four leave me a little gap there? Ring to sit in.
again. Lock you in. All right. Now. See 11. A couple of times here. Structure mounted together. Dig it. And somehow I forgot to pull these guys. Most checklist. No, this is. I just stopped at E for some reason. <laughs> or I skipped F1. That on the other side, that worked about as good as I was, probably better than I was expecting. <laughs> like so. Okay. 
axles, or not axles, or spacers, I guess. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So these guys, these U's just go over the. Yeah. Push them down like, yeah, here we go. Tying it all together. a little closer. I was about to put them just two and two. <laughs> All right. And that concludes step four. Got adjustable cannon appears. Of course, it'll have our wagon wheels on it here. At some point, <laughs> but yeah, there we go. That's gonna, that gets us pretty close to that hour mark. I wasn't really planning on going that long, but that's that works. And like I say, that should make us a shorter video tomorrow, which you know Monday everybody needs to go to bed early. So, <laughs> all right, like I say, I'm satisfied with that coming together. And our, like I say we we can't always load in our. Ping pong popper can, but anyways, folks, that's like a, like I said, that's far enough. Gates of progress. I ought to finish this one up tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share, do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.